Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to uh, try to do this video again. I have literally recorded this probably two dozen times and I can't seem to get it right without sounding like a total dick. So here we go, here we go. Wish me luck. Now this video is about my 3D files and why I will share some but not others. And the way that people ask me, I think uh, the expectations of people that own 3D printers and just what they assume. So I don't even know how to start this. I guess um, I guess it starts with the fact that during the course of a week, probably at least a quarter of the emails I get regarding any of my projects have to do with people wanting my 3D files. And there's a portion of these, surprisingly small portion of these people ask in a way that is um, non-expectant. They, they will ask, um, do you plan on posting your files? Have you posted your files anywhere? Uh, is there a place where I can download these files? Those questions are completely fine. They are unoffensive, totally reasonable, no problem whatsoever. But what I don't like is when people almost expect me to just hand over my files now that I've done them. Uh, I'll get emails like, hey, send me the file for those arms. I want to print a set here. Or send me a file of this piece. Send me a file of this one so I can send it to my other guy to print. I, you know, just let me have it. Let me have it is basically the intent. Or I've had people, people I know, multiple people. So if you think I'm talking about you, I probably am. But I'm also addressing some other people as well. So it's not just you. Uh, but I've had people, my friends, who want to just come over with like a thumb drive and just collect all of my 3D files that I've made and so they can go print their own. And it doesn't work like that, guys. Like... Like, I, if you're my friend and we hang out, I will work a trade with you. I may print a part for you, but I don't want to give out my files. And the reason is, is that I don't even know how to, there's so many angles to this, it's hard to address. But I think what, when people know that there's a 3D file out there, they assume it's just this thing that like lives out there in the ether that they can just download and print on their printer. And there's no even idea of the amount of work that went into making that file not just the process of modeling the file but the skill set that it took to get to the point where a person is able to model that file is huge and that's worth something now if a person who makes a 3d file decides they want to give it away that's their prerogative i've given away lots of 3d files um the thing that's holding my phone right now this little stand i made for my tripod i 3d modeled it printed it I would be glad to put that on the internet for free. It has no intrinsic value to me. It's just a thing that holds my phone. Um, R2D2 parts. Uh, a few years ago, I modeled a bunch of those. I put them up on the forums. Those, I have no problem giving those away because somebody else did all of the research. I just took their, all their measurements and I put them in the computer and uh, built a model around them. And I didn't have to go search and hunt and do whatever. And there's already 9,000 pieces out there, the same part. I just made a 3D printable version of them. Um, but when it comes to like C-3PO or the Death Star droid that I'm working on, I get so many requests for those parts. Now, the reason that I made those parts is so that I could have a unique item in my house. And as soon as I give out those files, the uniqueness is gone. It's totally gone. It sounds kind of selfish, but it's, if you think about it in regards to like, if you save a bunch of money and you go buy a house or you buy a car, like a really specific thing that, you know, only you have, or a piece of artwork for your house, or something like this. Um, those are all things that, like an investment. You invested your time to earn the money to go get this thing. And for me, it's the same deal, where I'm investing a ton of my own time when I'm off work, and I work a full-time job, and I do a bunch of freelance stuff on top of it. I have a 900 projects. So to sit in front of my computer when I could be doing anything else, isn't the most fun thing for me, but I do it because the outcome is that I have this unique thing that's mine. Um, and some of these parts I'm willing to sell the the uh, the parts when they're done. I'll put them on Shapeways, people can buy the actual part, but I don't want to put the file out there. And part of the reason is that there's sites like Thingiverse where you can download everything and everything's awesome. There are a lot of people on there that post really good files. And sometimes it's from the person who created the file and that's great and that's their prerogative. If they want to put that out there for free, more power to them. That's awesome. But there are a lot of times when the really good files that you find turn out to not be modeled by the person who's posting them. And I've seen forum posts where the modeler is like, hey, I gave this file to somebody. 
uh, not to be shared with the public, and now it's on Thingiverse, and it's all over the place, and I see people printing it everywhere. And I don't want that thing to happen with my C-3PO parts. It's important to me. Um, those costume parts have opened up a world of opportunity for me that if there were, you know, everybody and their mom could download the files and print the parts, it would limit my opportunities based on that. So if someone really wants to go through the trouble to make the parts, they should do that like I did. It's not, I don't think that's a problem. Like, I don't come to your house and say, hey, let me, um, let me just have your last three paychecks and 2% of your checks from now on. Let me just, th those just give them to me. And that's kind of the equivalent. If someone asked me for a 3D file that I invested a lot of time in, they don't understand that it took me years on some of these programs. I've worked on 3D Studio Max for something like nine years now. Um, Maya, long time. ZBrush for a really long time. Uh, 123D Design, SketchUp. Now I'm learning Fusion 360. All these programs take a lot of work outside of the actual file itself. Oh, there's a ton of investment in just learning the software enough to make the part. And then to make the part accurate, you have to find a ton of reference. Some of my reference collection has taken me literally multiple years to assemble. So when I get enough together that I feel like I can make the part and make it good, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a, a mountain of effort has gone into it before I even start the model. And then the model might take a while. And then I do a test print of that model. And that might be wrong or I see a mistake or something I can make better. And then I redo the model and reprint it and it's it's a huge process so when someone comes to me and they're like um send me that those 3d files so i can print them at my house not even a not even asking just hey send that over like like i owe it to them it's it's crazy and it freaking bothers me a lot now again i'm willing to trade with people for things <clears throat> if it's something that i want too like if they have something that i want and i can print them a file i'll print them the parts we can do a swap that's great but if it's just some random Joe Schmo just wants my file so they can make a copy, I don't think that's right. And I think a lot of other artists would agree with me. I mean, if, if I'm sculpting something like, like a down here and I make a mold of it and a casting, then people aren't really going to expect that part for free. Now, I've had people ask me for parts for free, but they don't expect them the same way. It's, it's a little bit different than a 3D file. And I think it's just the fact that it's this digital thing and it's not a, a tangible object makes people not appreciate the work that went into it nearly as much. And I hope that kind of addresses some of my thoughts on this. It's, uh, I don't mean to sound like a jerk and I'm not trying to be overly selfish, but there are things that I've done for myself. I'm glad to share my knowledge of how I did them. If somebody needs help on, on uh, how to model things or what software to use or uh, techniques to do certain aspects, I'm glad to help with that kind of thing. And I've put up tons of videos on helping with whatever I can. So I'm not trying to hoard it all to myself, but the files are mine and I want to keep them that way. And if it comes down to a part, I will print the part or have the part printed, put it on Shapeway so you can have the part printed, but I don't want to put the files out there because then they're not, they're gone. And then all my hard work goes out the window and that's a bummer. So anyway, I hope this addressed some of this uh, stuff because I get so many messages and I just, it's hard to respond to all of them and write the same thing. I don't really want to share my files and I sound like a jerk because I haven't explained myself and and you know in reality I'm thinking wow this person's got some gall to ask me. I don't load up a truck full of wood and hammer nails and saws and just show up at some carpenter's house and say hey man hop in the truck come back and build this deck for me. And that's essentially what it is. Like a person with a 3D printer they have the supplies to make the part but they don't have any of the skills required to model that thing. And it's the exact same thing as if I went to a carpenter and said just build this stuff. I have all the supplies. Just come over and build it for free. No charge. Spend, I don't know, it'll only take you like a week, two weeks, right? Okay, come on over. No, no, I'm not going to pay you. Just, I have everything here. You don't need to be paid. That's, that is the equivalent, okay? Just remember that. Next time you ask somebody for stuff, think about it. You can ask reasonably, uh, like I said, hey, do you plan on posting this file? Totally fair. But when you write me and say, send me that file, like a demand, that's wrong, and it's a good way to be put on my short list of people that I don't associate with very, very much. So, uh, anyway, hopefully that's answered some questions. Give me a thumbs down. I'm sure half the people that are watching this don't like this video, but that's okay. Um, I'll be back with more projects real soon. I got a ton of stuff going on right now, and it's lots of fun. But I got to get back to work, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.